Picture this. You are a beautiful girl. It's okay if you are not. That's why I said picture it. Imagine. You are a beautiful girl who really wants to marry the king of your land because you are really in love with money and fame. He is not only handsome, he is rich and very influential. Now you have a little sister who is really in love with a school teacher who doesn't have any money problems, mostly because he doesn't have any money. Can't go lower than zero. Louisa, I'm in love with him. You're in love with the school teacher? So everything is good for you, but then all of a sudden your sister realizes that she doesn't love the teacher anymore or his salary. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I forgot. This is based in Ghana, so no salary at all. What about me? Clint, I just realized that I don't love you. All of a sudden she loves the king instead. The same king that you want for money. Unfortunately, the king also happens to love your sister and not you. Rose. Will you do me the honor of marrying me? Because your sister happens to be very talented with a beautiful voice. Sing for me. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Mm -hmm. If that happened to you, you would also say the same thing that Louisa said. I detest you. And I forever will. Now that is the part one of the movie The King Is Mine. If you haven't seen it, the link will be in the pinned comments below. So Rose, played by Jackie Apia, marries the king and Louisa, Beyonce, is filled with jealousy and envy because her sister is going to be filled with the king. But the king already has a queen and the old queen comes to pay the new queen a visit. Oh, I do need to introduce myself. And if you couldn't tell she was royalty, she has two people whose duty is to hold her hands in the air. At all times, every time she appears in the movie, they are over there holding her hands. Make yourself comfortable. Which means, open up. Ah, oh, this is your first time, I suppose. Second time, your majesty. This is her second time, and to my experienced people out there, you know that second time actually means tenth time. The king is the first runner up. He might have a lot of gold around him, but when it comes to this punani, he's winning a silver medal. So then, you lied to me. Sorry. You have a beautiful smile. Thank you. Can I have a kiss? Don't worry, my dear. John the Baptist may have paved the way, but there's still only one Messiah. Now come and insert my royal sausage in thine mouth. The king wastes no time in collecting his silver medal, and very, very soon, she's pregnant. And I want you to pay attention to this, okay? In the part one, the king's whole thing was getting an heir to the throne. That's the reason why he married a new girl in the first place because the queen whose hands are always in the air, her babies kept dying. Now I have a theory about the dying babies that I'll say later, so keep that in mind too. So now that Rose has a baby for the king, the family is set. In steps Louisa, Beyonce. Louisa, when did you arrive? Much earlier in the afternoon. She's there to execute her very well thought out plan. A plan that is all based on the king being an impulsive, childish bitch with a negative value of Solomon's wisdom. The king's decision making in this movie is so crazy. Like, the amount of wisdom he has in his head is equivalent to the amount of money the teacher has in his bank account. So, zero. By the way, all the teacher jokes in this video are dedicated to Eve. Eve, I saw your comments in the la on the last video, under the last video, and the way you're defending a thing, I can tell you're a teacher, hey, big shouts to you, you are a hero, you are the real hero of the land. I wish they paid you like a hero, but <laughs> the country is shit, but shouts to you, uh, your comments made me laugh. A great king whose chronicles will echo in eternity. So Louisa starts trying to seduce the king, and she starts by tripping and falling. Are you okay? Um. Yeah. I'm, oh God, I'm. I'm just. Uh, I'm just a bit dizzy. Which, for some reason, in the sky, made the king attracted to her. Louisa. Yes, Your Majesty. If he loves to see things falling down, then. I can't wait till he sees the economy now. The Ghana city has just fallen against the dollar. Mmm. I feel exceptionally sexual right now. Servants, get me some baby oil. So it was love at first fall, and the king decides to buy Louisa a gift. Now, Louisa, who has been in love with the king's money and fame, 
all these years decides. Close it. Take it back to his majesty. Excuse me? To reject the gift, but this was a chess move. I don't understand chess. I would have made a joke about the king and the queen. But as it stands now, the king wants a new queen and the queen is playing hard to get. Is that is that good enough? As I, the playing hard to get like chess. Is that I don't I don't think so. It's, forget about it. She refused your gifts, your majesty. She did? She did, your majesty. Then send them back. But the king doesn't want to take no for an answer because who do you think you are rejecting a gift from the great king of Diallo? Lion of the Duala. Sorry, Duala. She refused it, your majesty. You think you have your own rights? Wrong! Now the king is seething with rage because a girl says she won't take his gifts. What a sensitive pussy ass nigga. What kind of by force gift is this? It's not a gift anymore. I take it. I take it back. Take it back. That's what you're supposed to do. What's all of this shouting about because she doesn't does want to take your gift? I take it that you didn't like the gift I sent you. Why the sudden interest in me? Change. Now this word change we will learn is very very important to the king. Change. Change. Change, Louisa. I think it's funny that he said the word change three times without changing the word if you if you like change so much. So after he finished the poetry recital, she still rejected the gift. I can't. Stop it! Louisa! Your Majesty, excuse me. But this made the king want her even more. Remember, this sudden desire came from her tripping and falling. Maybe when she slipped, her booty jiggled a little bit. Now Rose, her sister, gave birth to a son, the thing that the king has always wanted. Meaning the king's desire for Louisa has changed, Louisa. It's now dead because the king has the brain of a goldfish. Change is how his brain is written to work. His mind changes every three market days. Oh, son! Son! Oh, son! Finally! Now at this point, Louisa, who had a clear chance at getting the king very easily by just misunderstanding the king on purpose and changing her clothes in front of him when he said Change, Louisa. Imagine if she took off the clothes and then decided to trip and fall again. Everything will bounce for real. But since she decided to be like Yakubu in that match, now she has to play dirty. And this is where our old friend, the teacher, steps in. Hi, Clint. Louisa, you kept me waiting. I'm gonna go straight to the point and make this as short as possible. I'm listening. The teacher got taught a lesson in part one. Rose left him for a high class man. So now it was time for him to show Rose that the king might be high class than him, but as a teacher, he runs the class. And the plan is simple. Rose jilted you for money, you know that, right? Of course, I know. Well, I want you to call her and lay claims on her child. Tell her the child is yours. He didn't want to do it, but then Louisa offered him 10,000 Ghana cities. Look. This is 10,000 Ghana series. Which as a school teacher is way more money than he's ever going to see for something as easy as this. And this is not really relevant but the guy is Nigerian, you know, so, you know, Nigerian is not, never going to let free money go. Last time I was buying something, the guy was Nigerian and I already had half the money. He gave it to me because he couldn't watch the money go away. Do you know what you can do with this money? There's a lot. You can turn your life around. You can do something with your life. Now this plan should not work, but remember the king has a balloon brain and his focus moves with the wind. And this is where the writing falls apart for me in this movie. Hello? Hello Rose. This is Clint. Congratulations though for the safe delivery. Because over here Rose is stupid on purpose in the script. But then when will I see my son? What? What are you talking about? When you and I know the child he just delivered is my son? You are mad! You don't know how to pretend on a call? She even mentioned his name! Clint, what is it? I will go any length to get back my child. Why would you do that? No rational human being would do that. The king is suspicious as you can see from his face. This face. Now Louisa gives the final blow and tells him the truth and he goes crazy. Yeah. I fear you won't like this. Do not put my patience to test. Your Majesty, someone is laying claims on Rose's child. What? Now, as a king, patience, calm decision making, these are very important things you should have. You look at a situation, you explore all options and pick the best one. But this king loves one thing, if you remember. Change. Change. So he went to his beloved flower, Rose, and told her to leave. 
I want you to leave my palace right this minute. You and your child. And that's one thing she could do. Two things actually. She could intentionally trip and fall. That would do the trick. Or she could do this. So many fasolati do. Hey, hey. If those flat notes were good enough for him to make her a queen, then anything can work. All of a sudden, the king's mind has changed. We have been looking for a son all these years. And heir. I will not go back on my word. He no longer wants change. His mind is made up so much that he doesn't even change the words he's using to say that he will not change his mind. I will not go back on my word. I will not go back on my word. I will not go back on my word. He's not going back on the words he's using to say that he's not going back on his word. And so he went forward with stupidity. So they don't have any DNA technology in the whole kingdom, the whole dollar kingdom. Line of the Dwala. Sorry, Dwala. In an attempt to investigate this, the people will find out. Can't you see? Now remember when I said the king's entire thing was getting an heir to the throne? At this point, he says this. The throne has no heir. With confidence, as you can see from his face, this one. The throne has no air and your brain has no oxygen. Louisa? Yes, Louisa. She's won a place in my heart for this single act of truth. For this single act of truth? I thought it was... Change. So now Louisa decides to go full Beyonce and banish her sister from the kingdom because she, Louisa, is the one going to give the king a son. Rose and her bastard son will be sent to the hinterlands where they'll live in isolation. After that, I'll give back to the king what he so much desired. Which is a legitimate son. We shall see. I have driven your sister and openly denied her child. Will you now give yourself to me? Finally, the king is about to get what he wants from Louisa. But Louisa is not content. She wants everything. And so she tells him to rip the queen of her queenship. Before she will allow the king to engage her in royal wet relations. So he does it and then he goes to his room and does whatever this is. <laughs> I will give you everything that you so much desired. My body, my spirit, and my soul. Louisa is teasing the king at this moment his seed is right at the tip ready to be spilled so the queen hears about this and she's not happy but I ask is the loss for what is in between her legs worth destroying our marriage your kingdom and your soul over my queen you don't understand it is worth everything in the world everything in life right until the last second where the last drop of seed is spilled after an average time of 10 to 12 minutes then he will realize that it wasn't worth it for a couple of hours then it will be worth it again when he sees her sleeping and falling again now this all depends on how good and sweet and tight she is and her overall performance including the pillow talk very important girls don't understand how important the pillow talk is to the guy coming back if it's not good then he will do his favorite thing change so she goes to louisa to show louisa exactly how much of a bad bitch she is even if you break every bone flesh wreck my whole being to the pit of death I shall never surrender my throne, for I am Queen Sawa, the first and only wife of King Felis II. <laughs> I thank you, my father. <laughs> L O L. <laughs> or should I say C O L? Crying out loud. <laughs> You don't watch football. If you watch football, you know that you have to save the banter until the game is over. You are talking plenty. I am the queen. I am the, 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 the mother of the heiress to the throne, beloved of the people. Queen of the Duala Kingdom, and that, my dear, I will be till I die. I guess the person we are seeing over here is a ghost because you are not a queen anymore. <laughs> for loving me too. Now the king has destroyed everything for this one light-skinned punani, but when it's time to get it, all of a sudden, Louisa is a holy woman. And now you will give yourself to me. And I made myself clear that that will never happen until we get married. Rubbish. She's saving herself for marriage. And I'll now take my prize. You don't have to shout. It is my choice to give it or not. Choice? Yes, my king. It is this strange thing that you may have never heard of. It's a very interesting concept they call, um... I forgot what they call it. They call it something, uh... Oh, yeah. Consent. 
so then, be my queen. But now I don't even think it's legal for her to give him the punani Because looking at how damaged his brain is, I don't think he can legally consent So finally Louisa gets what she wants, she's the queen But there's one big problem, again, it's a movie This is the third time I've lost my baby, I don't know what's happening to me Christ Lost her baby three times, I have a theory The king is a ritualist The previous king's babies also kept dying And the reason Rose's baby did not die is because Rose's baby is actually for the teacher Clint, this is my theory He just must not find out that I had a miscarriage You have to get rid of this for me Bury it, bury my shame, just make it disappear But here is where things get completely wild Here is where everything goes crazy Okay Okay, I'll do it but Louisa, the king knows you're pregnant, okay? See, that guy is Louisa's brother. He's the one who was spraying the house in the part one. And in this moment, Louisa had a choice to make. Well, she didn't actually. But you see, after playing the Game of Thrones for so long and winning, Louisa had become a different person. Justice. Justice, you can do it. Justice, please help me out. Help me become pregnant. What's wrong with you? Are you, are you crazy? Justice, you're my brother. Hey, Louisa Targaryen, <laughs> Beyonce Lannister, you want to mix your blood? Winter is coming in liquid form from her brother. Help a sister when you know you have all it takes to make it happen. How do you know he has all it takes to make it happen? Have you done this before? Louisa Targaryen. And my theory stands, she wants to have a kid with her own brother because she knows the king is a ritualist. The king is using his own seed for rituals and as long as the child is for the king, it will always die. <laughs> Hey, Justice, are you also a Targaryen? You are, com you, are, you are considering it? I don't know how this will go with you, but I was also thinking of Louisa. She can come in handy in times like this. Are they deaf? They didn't hear the, the door opening? The girl even closes the door, goes to get a camera, opens the door again and takes a picture and they still cannot hear? Yeah, you are coming to do incest and you are doing foreplay. <laughs> Where are your priorities? Eyes on the price. You are going to give birth to an heir to the throne who will be born without a nose. No. No. I can't do it. So they didn't do it, but the girl got a picture and the pictures. What is the proof? How did you get these pictures? This is the view that we saw. How did your camera take? These pictures from that angle. So the king sees it, he's angry and he goes outside to charge. And because this kingdom has no technology, she can't say it is photoshopped. So she and her brother get sentenced to death. I hereby sentence you to death. Now they ask for forgiveness, but I still will never ask you to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell i will ask you to leave a comment below let me think about the video um i'm sorry i didn't drop the part two early i said i'll drop it the next day but it's been i don't know how many days <laughs> sorry this movie wasn't bad but i heard from somewhere that this movie was copied from an indian movie and i'm going to watch that movie and see if it's true and if it is true i will be back with more information i really love making these videos if you haven't seen uh my other ones if you are new Check them out, uh, I'll put a playlist over here so you can watch them. I love making these videos, but I still don't love making them as much as I love you. And I'll see you guys soon in another video. Sing the song. Well, I could never ever ask you to like and subscribe. But you go fish share my video if you know you're feeling my fine. People, I could never ever ask you to like and subscribe.